Greetings. I am a Dragon Alchemist, and allow me to entertain you. I am once again playing Fallout 4, where I am on my way to the Automatoys Toy Factory. With Kiri! Now, the main reason I wanted to come here is because... I wanted to do something good and nice for the world. And helping out a toy maker sounds like a great idea. Yeah, it'll help out getting the whole heebie-jeebies of going into Dunwich Borers out of my system. Now, I gotta look for some toy parts in here. I don't exactly know what to expect. But something tells me it's not gonna be that easy. First things first, though. I believe Curie has something that she wants to say to me. Although, first, I may want to have something to eat. I'm a little peckish. A little vegetable soup. And a noodle cup to wash it down. There we go. Heads up. You need something, yes? Hold up a sec. Is now a better time to converse? Yes, it is. Did you need something? Go on. I've spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far. And my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. I don't know about that. But, uh, you have any... Well, it's more like humans would take the credit for whatever a robot does. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. You want inspiration? Okay, do we need to get you to a museum, start looking at paintings, or are you talking about something else? So, how are you gonna do that? If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Okay... Now, here's the thing. It's not impossible. I don't have to ask that. I know about the robo-brains. Those things are essentially brains of people that are got right? scooped out and deposited into a robot. And they essentially got programmed. So they were essentially turned into robots. So it's not that impossible for things to go into reverse. Apparently, I can offer Dr. Amari's help. I know someone who might be able to help. Dr. Amari. Please, then, we must go to her and talk. Perhaps this is an impossibility, but it must be pursued. It might be, maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But we'll find out. What is that over there? Looks like a memorial. And a sentry bot. We'll be leaving that alone. We do not need to go that way. Hmm, looks like a red rocket over here. So, here's my plan. Get to the red rock... Kit. Okay, it's the quarry. It's the quarry. It's the raiders from the quarry. Get to the red rocket, clear the place out, and use this as a staging post for clearing up the Automatoids factory. Because something tells me I may need the cover. Okay, that was slightly worrying for a second. So far, so good. It looks like the place is clean. At least in terms of hostels, it's positively filthy in here, but what can you expect without maintenance for 200 years? A little bit of extra looting doesn't hurt. Now 
Now let's check this automatoids factory. What am I walking into here? It would help if Curie doesn't wander into my line of sight. I've spotted nothing so far, but that doesn't say anything. I only got one angle. Oh, what's up here? Okay, we have signs of raiders. I think those are raider signs. Certainly looks like something they do. Nothing outside so far. few holes in the wall, but nothing I can cross into. No green stuff here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Curie spoiled my element of surprise there. We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Come on, come on, show your head. Big Mac! Well, that Big Mac went down really quick. Okay, at least they're lining up. One at a time, one at a time. Cover. Hopefully this APC is tough enough. I mean, it's an APC after all. It should take a few shots. I don't have angle on this thing. And what's worse, it's got good angle on me, so we're not staying here to fight. We are going to advance into better cover. Ow, 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 ow. Upstairs. Upstairs, Curie. Oh, they have a mini gun. Oh, she needs help. Big Mac. Wow, took a hit square to the face. I'm gonna eat your last when you're dead, human. You can try, but you gotta catch these legs first. But I'm gonna make sure you catch a bullet before that. Okay, I'm gonna have to help Curie as soon as I secure the area. Where? Oh, there you are. Hold still. Right to the base of the skull. All right, we're good. Curie, Curie, you can get up now. I'll start looting. Have you found something interesting? Not quite. Oil canister. Interesting. Okay, so the parts must be inside there. She should be getting up by now. Ooh, Wilson Atomatoy's ID card. That looks interesting. She's not getting back up. That's slightly worrying. I noticed that miscellaneous repair your companion. Yeah, a little bit of help in what I should do would be great. What am I supposed to do here? Gas canister. Nice, nice. All right, I think the area is secure. I'm gonna head outside and grab those legendary items and then we're gonna see what's inside. Super Sledge, oop, definitely taking the ammo bag for the ballistic fibers. Oh, I already have one of those legs. Oh well, spare I suppose. Okay. One less bunch of super mutants to completely ruin this place. And again, this place is pretty much already ruined, so what am I talking about? Don't need that. A lot of giddy up buttercup parts here. I am definitely coming back for all of this stuff. 
Okay, first things first. Secure what I came for. Let's see. Giddy up, buttercup. Toy parts. I don't see how this is different from the stuff outside, though. No, I do not. Curie still... hurt. Do I have to get out of my power armor and do something? No. Apparently this is going to be an issue. She's not getting back up. Uh, I suppose this has something to do with the... Mechanist DLC. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out how to repair her then, as soon as I finish looting the place. Can I still talk to you? No, I can't even talk to you. Great. So, I can't have you... ...carry all this good loot. Because I need the screws. I am severely depleted on screws. I got about a hundred pounds worth of carrying capacity. So, here we go. I think... We're gonna be here for a while. Now I've arrived back in Good Neighbor with Curie in my stead. Because, apparently, due to Automatron DLC and Survivalist Mode kind of combining together, I need to have a repair kit on me to make sure that Curie, if she goes down, I can repair her, which makes sense. The odd thing about it, though, was that I need a chemistry station in order to make that thing. And since there wasn't any nearby, I had to go run to my settlement, grab one of... Uh, make a chemistry station, make a robot repair kit, and now I have a few to spare in case Curie runs headlong into a few bullets again. And now we're here at Good Neighbor, because one, Curie wants to talk to Dr. Amari about downloading herself into a body. Can't wait to see how that turns out. I heard about your signal interceptor. Now that you've found the Institute, I hope you do the right thing. Way ahead of you. But we've got another great triumph of science to talk about. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. And how did you know I she was a she? I my data and co-programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? I think she is! But is it possible, is the main question. Can you do it or not? I won't even consider something like this, unless there's a good reason. I was programmed to further our studies of disease, pathogens, and viruses. I cannot do this with the fundamental limitations of my robotic systems. If I become human, with the wealth of information in my Great database, camera angle. I hope to do much good for the Commonwealth. A pre-war robot with your knowledge and skills, plus human cognition. Yes, you could potentially save many lives. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision making, a normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. Okay, I can see where this is going. Also, congratulations, Curie, you managed to make a very good point there. But it's possible. So it is possible, then? Likely, even. We just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure yeah, is always Yeah, some of your handy work. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. Well, I suppose... 
if it's an organic synth that would otherwise just be sitting there without any ability to think of, of its own? Yeah, why are you helping me? So you're willing to perform the operation? My patient knew the risks and opted for memory replacement. She wanted a new life. I failed her. But this... This procedure may be as close as I can get to fulfilling her wishes. But I cannot make this decision. Her caretaker can. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. Okay, so how long are we going to have to wait here? Like... The caretaker should get back to me soon. Not like a day? I need to just do stuff for a day? Alright. We can do that. Oh, hello. Yeah, I thought I missed something on the way out. I like the colors on this comic book. They are very bright. <laughs> yeah, the subject matter, however... Well, it's... Not Gragmac itself, it's the game for Gragmac. Hmm, not quite sure how that computes with you. Alright, so, I'm gonna be wandering around the wasteland for a day without Curie. May as well make myself a nuisance somewhere else. So, now that I'm in Good Neighbor, I have two options. I can either A. Head to Old North Church, see what the railroad wants to do. Because I figured I may as well help them out a bit. I've already helped out the Brotherhood a great deal. And I'm having a lot of second thoughts about that. So I may as well help them out a little more to compensate. Other option. I head to Diamond City and see what Bobby No-Nos wants with me. And since this still sounds as shady as ever, maybe not having Curie along might be a benefit. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I may as well. Let's see what I am needed to do here with Bobby. Again, this is one of those situations where I'm not getting the full story, I'm not getting all the information I really need, and I'm not quite sure if I want to go along with it. Wow, I like to need to eat a lot. Oh, there's Bobby. There you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were going to show up. Oh, yes, and as you may notice, I have new gas mask textures. People like me are loud around here. I wish now I had that gas mask. Business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, Maybe he deserves worse. I don't know about worse, but you are right that the mayor kind of kicked out every single ghoul in Diamond City. Kind of robbed them blind in the process. And on top of that, apparently he's a synth working with the Institute. So, no tears shed for robbing him blind. I don't know about robbing the city coffers, though. That's a different story. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep Yeah, that's safe. why I didn't want to hear. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this. There's plenty for you. You got it. So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. And you have to get him out of yeah. here. Yeah. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. 
And you need me to do it. Where's the security office? Tell me about this security office. It's built into some old locker rooms. And it smells the part. This isn't a maximum security prison. And it isn't heavily guarded. No problem for someone like you, right? I'm not Locked killing for you. The, guard. the usual stuff. Oh. Just get him out of there. Okay. Fair enough. If I can, you know, convince the guard or bribe. Either works. Either works. Where's this locker room? Wait for Dr. Amari, so that might take one. Oh. Okay. You know what? There's a sign. Just follow the sign. You can't get any clearer than that. Okay, who do I need to talk to here? I can't believe you actually found that baseball stuff by Mole Cronin. That must have been a pain in the ass. Not really, it was along the way. You been the good neighbor? Riggin' hole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Mel here. The ghouls aren't a problem. The chemheads, maybe. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna spell it out in front of all the guards. I hear you're some kind of tech expert. You heard right. Well, maybe tech is too general. I have a thing for robots. No, not that kind of thing. But I know my way around most machines, yeah. Why? Hey, oh. Need my help? Yeah. Apparently, I do have to spell it out for you. I out of here. If so, maybe you shouldn't be announcing it. So yeah, I wanted to say it. that, but um, uh totally unrelated. But I hear that there's an old glitched out protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Yeah, I don't have to do that. If I can bribe a guard or convince them to let you out, I don't even yes. have to do any troubles here. Who do I have to talk to around here? Hey, you got something to say? Yeah. Ty yeah, what is Melon for? Why is Melon here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Just between <laughs> you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. Oh, so the guy... You know what? This shouldn't be too hard to convince him to let him out. I was hoping to get Mel at a lockup. I didn't know Mel had friends. Alright, he's pretty much done his time. Let me open up the door. Alright. Free to go, buddy. Yeah. When the, even the guards are sympathetic not, to the crime. But some guy came at the town, said he picked up a weird distress call. Let's just get out of here. Cambridge Ruins. Have I been there? I don't recall if I've been there. I may have to go there if that there's a distress call. Alright, let's go. One objective down without a single shot fired. So far, so good, but I'm still not liking the idea of robbing the city treasury blind. Thanks for getting me out. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Uh huh. Yep, this year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. What a gift you'd be. God. That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait, like, a day? What's the job? Yeah. How'd you like to help break into the Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. I'm still not that enthusiastic about this job you know what if between you and me You're pretty chummy with that reporter if we're just going to there to the strong room and we just find mayor McDonough's stuff I'm just taking that you guys can sort out everything else I just want whatever McDonough has this isn't like when we tried to break into that vault and it ended up being heavily irradiated Chronic vomiting. Not my favorite thing. Well, don't you have a bunch of stories? 
Okay, so I guess we have to go back to Good Neighbor and get this dig done. I have another reason for wanting to get into that strong room, though. McDonough's a synth, working for the Institute. Synth, no problem. Institute synth, big problem. Maybe I can dig up some dirt on him. If he's got any secrets, it's gotta be in the storeroom. So that's... Pretty much the only reason I'm agreeing to go through with this. If the people of Diamond City knew that he was an Institute synth, and I had hard evidence... Piper's gonna have a field day. Yep, the other miners are still gone. Got yourself into trouble again, Mel. What can I say? I learned from the best. I'm flattered. So, what's the deal with right. you guys? All here. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonia. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. Could you turn off your iBot's radio, please? I'd rather not hear it for a multitude of reasons. Okay, here we are. Oh, I'm talking to you. Here. Yeah, it it looks pretty bloody good, actually. I'm excited to see what she can do. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonia, do your thing. How fun. Let me get my weapons out. Oh. He came right up to my door and took the job. He takes orders, and he's useful in a fight. What more could I want? And he's not so bad to look at, either. Maybe we don't burn bridges this time. Yeah. Okay, but no hitting on me on the job, please. I've got other things to do. Oh, I hear movement. I hear movement. Wow, you hit out a lot of ammo. I'm switching over to the lance. Reload first, then switch over. How many more of you are there? Quite a bit, actually. You, you got a switchblade? That's all you got? Wow, they take a lot of punishment. This is gonna be a long dig if we gotta keep going through Marlurks every single... Oh, I wanted to level up there for a moment. There we go. Max luck! There we go. Easy enough. Ooh, fusion core. Excellent. I needed a spare. We need to get through here, Mel. Gotcha. Sonia. Oh, there's multiple pathways. Interesting. What about this way? Mel? Get Sonia over here. Sonia, you know what to do. Ooh. Oh yeah. This is gonna be fun! I think I'm gonna end the episode here. When we come back, we're gonna be going and digging through a lot of things. And hopefully I can talk to Mel about figuring how figuring out how he's doing that. <laughs>